just in the ballpark, how much did you spend on textbooks? Um, ah. Uh, Lots of money. I spent like um, four hundred and fifty dollars. Like probably three hundred dollars. Probably at least five hundred. Probably six to seven hundred dollars. At least four hundred dollars. I spend about six seven hundred. I spent probably eight hundred nine hundred dollars. Probably like a good six seven hundred dollars. Like one book alone was almost like three hundred. About 800 Last year my expenses ran up to $1,000. I definitely did not buy a book for one of my classes. I actually didn't spend anything on textbooks this semester uh, because my professors use OERs. <laughs> and, and what effects did that have on your personal finances? Huge effects because, you know, going to school you can't work as much to pay it and, you know, I could go and buy books online for a good deal, but I can't use my financial aid money towards that. I have to use the company through the school. It was really hard on my parents who have been financially supporting me while I'm trying to get up and coming in like a job and working on interviews and internships. I had to take some of my money from personal savings that I was going to put towards utilities for the books. It was really hard, like just trying to like figure out like where, I mean, how am I going to pay it? Where am I going to get the money for it? I um, I have to work extra hours, which affects my studies. Um, I do have a financial, but sometimes my financial aid package just comes really late to the school, and so therefore I have to really deal with that with my own money. And that's um, for a student, full-time student, and part-time worker, it's not the best thing. <laughs> it was really relieving to know that I didn't have to spend four to five hundred dollars on textbooks, especially when you have a five hundred dollar exhaust you have to replace. You, if you had that choice, which class would you pick? So that would be way better if I can select a class that is more cost effective, way less stress on me. I would definitely pick the OER one. It's kind of, of a no-brainer, but I would take the one where I don't have to spend money. When a professor goes through the time to provide those specific resources, they tend to be a lot more like in tune to what the class is as a whole. I really like OERs. Besides uh, the affordability, they're very easy to access because you can take them literally anywhere with you because most of the time they're online. It's a big relief when you come in a semester and your teacher looks at you and says, guys, you don't need any materials. I've got you. <laughs>